Thousands of games come to Kickstarter and other crowdfunding platforms every year, but how would these projects fare without knowledge of the designer, IP, or funding amount? In this segment, Anthony describes five ending soon projects, and Frances tells you whether she would pass. I am in a weird mood today. You are. Or play. Huh? I love it so much. Let me tell you why. Hi, and welcome to AntLab Games. I'm your host, Anthony. And I'm Francis. And here's another episode of Pass, Pass or, or Play. play. <laughs> <laughs> I still want the audience track. No audience tracks. <laughs> Not yet, at least. I feel like we have an audience. Uh, we do have an we audience, and you're all here to yes. play along uh, with Pass or Play. Yes. So this week, I th we're going to actually bring you, well, I'm going to bring you six, six? titles oh my goodness. from Kickstarter. Okay. Um, so I've handpicked six games mm -hmm. on the, and to be very specific, so you can go and look these up when you're done. Okay. These are in on Kickstarter. They are under tabletop games. So you would go to games, and you would click tabletop, okay. and these all come up under there. That doesn't mean they're all necessarily tabletop games, wink, wink, but you'll see what I mean as, as we okay. go along, right? Excellent. So, like we did last week, we're going to play along. There's going to be one change, however, going That's forward. So yes, we will not be disclosing the name of the game until the very end of the episode. Uh, then we'll go through all six and tell you what each and every one of them was, mainly because I don't want anyone to... Uh, to find out, yeah, you would play along. I want you to take notes. I don't agree with this. Yeah, she doesn't like this idea, but I do. So you're going to take <laughs> notes, mark down what you think for each of the games. So game one through six, yes. I will put timestamps down below so that you can skip ahead to the games. This without, is to the description. Of to the, the description of the yeah. game without the fear of running into Spoilers, the spoiler. Right? Yep, okay. absolutely. So buckle up. We are getting ready to go. And here is game number one. So okay. what I'm going to do this time as well is I'm going to go through a couple of um, characteristics of the game. Okay. And then I'll go into a little bit more detail. I'm not going to hide necessarily all the theme and stuff because okay. you get no, kind of, I think it's kind of important. So yeah. the first game is, um, and these are all, by the way, these are all ending within the next seven days. No, We're shouldn't be any less. Yes, yeah, so you've got a full week okay. to get out there and check these games out, right? So here's the first one. Okay. So this first game is a 4X game. Okay. It is one to four players. Mm, I have questions already. All right. And it plays in 15 to 30 minutes per player. Okay. Okay. A um, couple of characteristics, additional characteristics. It's obviously, well, not obviously, but sci-fi is the theme. Okay. Uh, which most 4X games are. Yeah. Um, the base game brings three of the 4Xs. Okay. Right? And those would be expand, exploit, mm -hmm. and exterminate. Meaning there's no explore. There's no exploration. Okay. Right? However, yeah. there is an expansion that has explore. Is it coming with? With asteroids. It's part of the campaign. You have to get the expansion. Okay. Uh, maybe that's the fifth X, the expansion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. So uh, it can be played solo, uh -huh. co-op, okay. or competitive. And to give you a little bit of, about how it plays, uh -huh. you've got uh, system tiles that have multiple planets on okay. them. Um, there are event cards. You have your own ships. Mm -hmm. you, um, <clears throat> you take over planets. You generate energy by having those planets every turn. Those energy resources are used to buy more ships. Okay. You take actions. You move your ships. You take over more planets. You fight out other people. Okay. Like it's your bog standard. Right, right. 4X yeah. game, right? Capture planets, collect energy, build ships, fight each other, collect relics. Mm -hmm. um, there's event cards, all okay. that, good, right? So that's that's really um, the big overarching um, summary of what this game supplies. Right? Okay. There's really not too much more to say. Can I ask questions? Uh, sure. Um, so you said it's co it can be played cooperatively. Mm -hmm. Is there like an AI that you're playing? There against? can be, yes. Okay. Well, if you figure it's one to four players. Yes. Yeah, so game. with any cooperative game, right? You typically have an AI. Okay. So. All right. There is. Right? Okay. Do you think you have enough information on game number one? I think so. 
I think so, but I still don't like that I have to wait to figure out what it is. But you don't have to wait to tell me whether or not you're going to pass <laughs> or play. Um, so based on the information, do, is there anything based... else you want to know before we before no. you make your decision? No, no, no. I don't think so. I think I'm good on this one. Okay. I am going to play. You want to play this one? I'm going to play this one. And That's... I know you're probably thinking to yourself, self... She doesn't like to play Forex games. Yes. Yeah, not true. Especially one that's that's apparently well, that has a, um, exterminate when well, you fight each other. Exactly. And that's the, it's the only X that I don't love. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm hanging on to hope that mm. this would be one that either the exterminate isn't something that needs to be like directly at each other, a okay. la like, um, like Alien Artifacts, for example, is one of my favorite games. Mm -hmm. It's 4XE. Mm hmm. But you can kind of like it's almost like you're you're exterminating the the games. Yes. The chips that come you're out. You're rewarded. In a way. Yeah, you're rewarded. And the, for on the on the other that. side of that too, maybe the co-op would be kind of fun because we could play together against the game. Against the AI. And that's right. if it didn't have those. If it didn't have that, I would probably say pass. But I do actually really enjoy Forex games just not when they're heavy on the x all right so, so i marked you down we'll for a so play I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a play for that one so i have to write that down all right so that's play. game number one okay. we have a play yes okay okay ready to move on to game number two i'm ready okay game number two so this is a cooperative okay dice rolling game mm. one to four players all right okay uh, in this game, I'll read a little bit about what the game is, right? Okay. So in this game, you take the role of an investigator, okay. right? gathering evidence of the paranormal. <laughs> you explore rooms <laughs> trying to match icons with okay. your dice rolls. Right. Uh, you search, reveal, and solve clues. Okay. Uh, there are environment cards uh, drawn for each hour, which will impede your progress. So it's more like threat cards. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, you must prove the existence of a ghost before the time runs out. There's four investigators. There's six different types of ghosts. Um, you seek out uh, objects that okay. are misplaced. Yeah. Uh, I guess those are kind of how you find the ghost, right? Because mm -hmm. things are knocked around and right, stuff like right. that in the house. Uh, you're going to search for clues. You're going to solve the meanings of clues mm -hmm. uh, all through symbols and dice rolls, right? Right. Um, items you get are going to modify though. these dice rolls. Through symbols and dice rolls? So well, what? I'm it's assuming... Like I'm rolling dice, and if I get good dice, then I solve the mystery? Is that I, I think that's okay. really what it boils down to, right? Um, and you're going to get items, and those items are going to help you, mit okay. mit you know, roll, mitigate some of your dice rolls. Um, you're going to come across locked doors. You're going to have to unlock those, again, with more, like, dice rolly puzzle-solving okay. stuff. Uh, once you uh, Once the ghost appears, everybody has to go gather and then capture evidence of this uh, of this ghost okay so that's that's, that's the it? summary yeah i mean <laughs> what more could you ask for <laughs> <laughs> um yes remember cooperative that's... dice rolling game yeah. uh, where you're where you're exploring different well, haunted locations and what's the player count again two the, to four? Uh, two the player six? count was uh one to four one to four so you can play this solo so which means that it's probably puzzly right yeah I don't know. See, this is it's, it's funny because I I like puzzly games, mm -hmm. and I typically do enjoy. I like solving puzzles. I like clues. I'm like time stories, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Sherlock, like those kinds of things. Like, give me the clues. I want to solve the mystery. Okay. Right? Detective, love it. This is to me sounding more like running around, almost like dungeon crawlery, except like I'm rolling dice for like, like I don't know if the theme is like completely integrated here or not. Well, I guess uh, you could probably compare the dice rolling to like one of those fantasy flight type games where you're, where you're trying to roll right. certain symbols. Yeah. Like I guess like an eldritch horror where you've got I a know. test, you know, you're making yeah. tests, right? Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's more like a test roll. Yeah, you're, you're doing test rolls. As opposed rolls to me stuff. actually like finding ghost clues. Well, I guess I you, you kind of are through dice, but like how much more can you really... Are you trying to sell me on that? I'm not selling you. I'm just saying like that's... Okay. If, if, if you were to think of any game where you're like right. exploring no, and, I mean, and I testing, it. it's I all it. resolved it. through rolls yeah, of yeah, yeah. dice with icons and stuff I like that. I get it. Um, I'm going to pass on this one. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I, I'm not like really into ghosts too much. Okay. I'm not like a ghost person. Um, I'm going to note that. <laughs> You've what? already pa like you've passed. I've passed. I don't know. I've got to be picky. We have six of these things to Th go through. That is true, but um, but there's. I six mean, it sounds fine. It sounds okay. I don't know. But you pass. Yeah, like I'm. I have to be picky here. Okay, so that's I'll, a and pass. I'll tell you why I'm passing. 
I don't really like ghosts. That's not my thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe if the theme was more like you're exploring like, you know, ancient tomb or something, mm. maybe like that might be. So cooler. the theme hurt. I'm it. not yeah, into you. like haunted house, find the ghost stuff. Mm. I don't. I'm not. I'm not here for it. Okay, fair enough. Look, hey, everybody's um, entitled their opinion. And then also the dice rolling. Like I would rather be actually looking at clue cards and finding real clues. Interesting. Well, I could tell you I'm 0 for yeah, 2 right now because I... You would play both of these? Well, no, because I, I chose... I, I expected you to pass on the first one. Oh, wait, one. you have expectations for Oh, me? of course I do. Well, you didn't tell me well, or anyone else that. I'm letting you know as we go through these. So you thought that was going to be a... So I you thought, thought the first one I would pass and yep. this one I would play. Correct. And I said I would play the first one and... And you flipped it. I am in a weird mood today. You are. <laughs> she really is. So, uh, all right, so I think we're ready to go on to okay. number three. Now this one's interesting in the uh, in the collection for today okay. because this is not necessarily a board game. Okay, yeah, you hinted at that. So I hinted at this one, uh, but I thought it deserved a place because it comes up in the search. It comes okay. up in the category of tabletop mm -hmm. games uh, on Kickstarter. Fair. So I figured okay. I like that. This sh it yeah. should belong. So this is actually um, it, the and I'll just call it a game just for. Okay. consistency sake so this thing it, it this game uses tarot sized cards right okay. it's, and it's just cards mm -hmm. um and they're used to generate stories okay mm. so basically there are six decks and each deck has its own theme okay. and the themes are like one deck is contracts and bounties then another one is epic adventures the next deck is political intrigue relics and artifacts and then the last one is side quests okay so each card is broken out into different um, types of things like actors, action, subjects, developments, right? So mm -hmm. think of all the different plots and, right, and characters right, right. and all that to go into a story, right? Yeah. So then you take your five cars and you assemble them in order, and what it does is it creates a unique storyline. Oh, and each card cool. has like four different choices right. on it, so you can kind of pick how you want your story. So what this really is, it's, it's, it's a tarot card uh, deck of cards, like a, right. a collection of decks. Yeah, yeah that are used for just say someone Storytelling who's playing like uh, an, a role-playing right, game exactly. right exactly to create a narrative I story i love this all right well, i love uh, this are you done no oh okay keep going uh, i have one last thing okay. so each deck has 60 cards so yeah. you've got uh five decks i think or of 60 cards five, yeah. yeah 300 cards okay but based on all of the combinations of things there's over 250 million combinations of stories that you could potentially oh, yeah, the permutations are insane. yeah okay uh, you could potentially yeah. craft out of this system right so, um, so I thought this would be be pretty neat to talk about. Okay. Just because it was so so different and and so um, unique. Yes. In, in what it offered, so the uh, the campaign offers, um, you can buy, you know, you get the whole set. Mm -hmm. It's a box set they call it. Okay. Um, pretty simple. Okay. And um, and that really sums it up. So That's it really it. just, it, it's it's a story creator. Okay. You know. Can I say my opinion now? Absolutely, I'm done. I just wrote down in my book, super, oh, I wrote down super pass, super but I meant, pass? Super, <laughs> but I meant all right, super so play. we have a super pass super, on this one. Super play, I think I was thinking like easy pass, like you can go and get, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I absolutely love this. Okay. I love it so much. Let me tell you why. Uh, first of all, I didn't even know anything like this existed. Mm -hmm. I, I love the idea. Um, I'm not, I'm creative in some ways. Right. Storytelling is not one of those ways. Mm. I am way too linear when it comes to like, like bedtime story. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. Princess went to the castle <laughs> and then, I don't know, set up a bakery. I have no idea. Like right. I'm not creative on the fly when it comes to creating fantasy stories, which I think is why I enjoy fantasy so much right. because it's like this world that somebody else has created and I get to be a part of it mm -hmm. in a way that I could never dr like my dreams are literally days of my life yeah like I don't have like fantasy like world around me mm. um so I love I love this idea. So this is a way that this is so you can cool create a, a sort of narrative yeah tale like, whether it's like you're building 
your own stories, or maybe you're writing kids' books, or maybe you're, yeah. you're making board games, or you're you know doing D and D, or you're you know having to come up. Like one of the things actually that like makes me really really nervous when we play games is like any game that makes you like name your town. Like oh, yeah. when we get to Legacy, like Charterstone, mm -hmm. we get to the, the. I think we stopped playing once we had to name our town because I just couldn't come up with the name. Or um, even pressure. like Gloomhaven, like the Jaws and Lion. I did come up with no, your character name. some kind of name for my character, yeah. but like I'm never quite happy with it mm. because I'm like, it sounds like weird. I'm just like <laughs> Stu the accountant or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just not that. My brain does not work that way. Oh. So I appreciate this for people like me who are a little bit impaired. <laughs> when well, it that's comes to creating. Well, that's fantasy, good. Somebody, so. somebody took the time to to solve your problem. This is why I had to pass on the ghost game because if I didn't pass on the ghost game, you guys wouldn't understand how excited I'm about whatever this is. That's really good. So, super, okay. super play. I Very cool. Okay, that was number three. What did you think I was going to say? Oh, I, I pegged you for a play on this one. You knew I was. Yeah, there was no doubt in my mind that you were going to get this one. Okay. Um, all right, you ready okay. for number four? Yes. Okay, so number four is a spatial card game. Mm. Okay. okay, do you know what a <laughs> like, spatial card I, game is? It's like abstract? No, I, I think spatial is uh, the way you place your cards has purpose, and I'll explain right. that. Right, okay, I know what you and mean. And I'll explain that, mean. okay? Yeah. Um, right. It is a one to six player game Okay. in 20 minutes. Okay. So this is a super... Regardless of player game? Yeah, super okay. fast game. Okay. okay? Um, because in this game, you only get six cards. Right. The whole game, right? Okay. And what you're doing is you are, you're each racing to fill your warehouse. So you start with a warehouse card, right? Okay. And the warehouse has toys in it, like shelves of toys. Right. Or like a calic shelf like a, of toys. Wait, is it a card? It's or a card. It's a... They're all cards. Okay. So card. the card has okay. pictures, like, just imagine the card is set up in like a, an eight shelf grid. Right, right. right. You know what okay. I mean? So and each shelf has toys in it. Sure. So what you're doing is you're racing to fill your warehouse by adding cards to it. So uh, during six rounds, you play a card into either your warehouse okay. or to the public warehouse, basically, the public play area. Okay. Uh, and when you place your card, um, it has to overlap other cards by covering at least one to two of the squares of toys in that card. Oh, I see what you mean. And it has yeah, to be yeah, in yeah. a 90 degree. Right. So this is like like a Kodama would be another spatial. Well, yeah, card exactly. Game where you have to cover things up. Exactly. And you have to cover up those yeah. toys. Okay. Um, and you can ro rotate it 90 degrees, but there's okay. some uh, shelves that in the warehouse that have little workers on them. You should, okay. And you can't cover them. Oh, of course. Because it's dangerous, right? <laughs> so that's that's sort of the puzzle, right? So right. as you're trying to build the biggest link of one particular type of toy, uh -huh. because you're going to get scored or whoever has the longest collection of the same toy. Okay. Because okay. the theme is you're trying to stock your warehouse with the next hottest toy. Say okay. it's Cabbage Patch dolls, right? Right. So you're trying to match up all the Cabbage Patch dolls. But what determines the um, popularity okay. or the rave for, yeah. the, for the toy right. is the the one in the middle that everybody's contributing to. Oh, so, okay. But the, the caveat here is the longest connection in the middle earned, it means that it was overplayed and whoever has that loses 10 points. So you don't want oh, yours to be the wow. biggest. You want it to be the second biggest. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So that's All the right. game, right? Uh, in a nutshell, what do you that's think? It? Yeah, okay. I mean that's it. I think I well, explained no, the did. entire. You actually yeah, explained it really well. The entire twenty minute game. <laughs> <laughs> it probably took you longer to explain it. Yeah. Um, I like that it's twenty minutes mm -hmm. for this kind of game. I think that that's. Um, uh, so I'm thinking it's also like a. Um, I think Mass Transit was a spatial card game too, wasn't it? Essentially, maybe not. To the yeah, extent, no, like not not this to this. This is more degree. like a yeah. Kodama kind yeah, of. Yeah, theory. exactly. Okay. Where you actually are putting cards on top right. of cards, where yeah. you were just trying to fit the next card in the row. Um, with mass transit. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would because it's twenty minutes. I would probably play it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not one that I would like go out back right now bring it home and like really let's break this out and play it. Okay, so uh, how does that translate into whether or not you play oh, it or pass man. it? Because um, I think the whole premise of, of the actual... Who, is this like, who we play this with the kids? Oh, yeah. It's made for it's made a younger for audience. Yeah, there's yeah. no doubt. I'm, I'm going to pass on this one only because of hmm. at the last... <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> when we did this last week, 
um, that was kind of my barometer. Was like, okay. yes, it would be cool if we were playing with the kids, but I think that we're keeping this to a, would we play this yeah. together? Right. Um, and by playing it, you're essentially saying, yeah, I would go out and back this game. I, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I would go out, back it right now. I need this in my life. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Um, and I don't feel like I need to be the first one to have this game, I think is what I'm okay. saying. That's, yeah. that's, that's completely acceptable. Okay. All right. So ready for number five. So number yes. five um, is another one of those... Um, campaigns that's not necessarily a board game okay but it still sort of fits in the category okay it made its way onto your list <laughs> it sure did um okay. so this one is um different in that it's a it's a series of graphic novels okay right? if that sounds interesting to you uh -huh. but in these graphic novels um you are the star right the story depends mm. on the choices you make okay right yeah. so um so these are i guess you could call them game books that um come in a variety of themes and stories and where you choose your own adventure type they or? are but they're graphic novels okay so these aren't just like your your old uh like D, &D sort of choose your own adventure style books mm -hmm. these are more um just like reading through a graphic novel right, with right. a lot of you know really flashy art and then coming across uh, a challenge or a puzzle, something okay. you got to figure out, or, or making a decision right. that'll send you to another page and kind of progress the story, right? Okay. But you're, but meanwhile, you're sort of building up you, your character as the hero as right. you as you progress through it, right? So there's sort of a, a role playing element to to these books. I'll have to get those tarot cards before. You you <laughs> may may have to do that first. So um, this is a so this. This is a, is a seasonal thing, right? So these okay. things come out. This is season four, actually. Okay. Um, and they are uh, uh, the series, and I'll give you the, the themes for okay. the, uh, the, the name of the different books okay. as they come out, just because it'll give you an idea, right? So the first one's called Space Brigade, <laughs> not to be confused with Game Brigade. <laughs> So in Space Brigade, you are in charge of a tactical squad of elite soldiers, and you and your team are sent to a space station that has been overrun by aliens, okay. and you've got to yeah. work through encounters, probably explore the space right. station, right? So that's your adventure for that one. Uh, the next one's called The Dark Mage. Uh, you take on a role of a magician who wields dark powers, uh, and oh, then you go on awesome. all okay. sorts of cool adventures yeah. there. Um, another one's called The Grand Tournament. You're a fighter with special skills, uh, entering in the grandest of tournaments. Maybe like... Street like, Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Oh, I was thinking like Leonidas or something. No, that's definitely not like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a Spartan. Okay. You're more like a Street Fighter, I'd say, in this one. It's like expectations, uh, not met. Next one's a Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> okay. Um, International, where you're, obviously you're going to be Sherlock Holmes. Another one, Sherlock Holmes, the beginning. So a couple okay. of different Sherlock Holmes themes. Um, the, the campaign, uh, you can buy a la carte, whatever book you want, or you can okay. get the whole season, uh, all of season four. Okay. Uh, four books, or you can get all five books, or you can buy the whole collection, right? Because there's there's tons of them out there. But these are definitely something different, but they're yeah. they're graphic novels. So what do you think? I mean, with that pitch this alone, if I were to pitch you on like that, like two books we own. That certainly <laughs> does not to give away any more than that, because I think we've. Um, I, if it is what I think it is, um, I would definitely be interested in playing these. I think okay. that my biggest the biggest issue for me is going to be there be two things. Number mm -hmm. one. If this is similar to what I'm thinking, you can actually, it's not just reading like a choose your own adventure graphic novel, but you can actually like write in the pages or there's things that you can manipulate maybe. Or and some, you, like yeah, that. you're required to, but. Um, which I always, like, I don't, I don't really like to like write on mm -hmm. stuff. So there's that. Um, but the other thing is just for me finding time yeah. to do this because we don't have a lot of time to just like play the games that we want to play right so i'm not very good at like finding time for myself to go off and mm -hmm. do something other than work but so. it, it would travel it, it would travel well so keep that in mind okay so that was well, a play this is going to be a play for me yeah okay and what did you think i was going to say for this one i thought you'd play this one okay what about the last one this card get stocking game oh i, I didn't say that did i uh, i thought you would pass on that okay one. Yeah, okay which I did. okay I gotta tell you this next one. Yeah. I'm not sure. What I'll say. What you'll say. Oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. So you ready to finish out? I'm ready. All right. So game number six. Let okay. me go, let me go to my notes. 
<laughs> All right. So uh, this one is a cooperative adventure game. Okay. All right. Um, it has 16 missions that can be played a la legacy style without okay. destroying things, right? Right, so, right, like, yeah. Kinda, I would call that campaign. campaign. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you would say legacy. Right. I'd say campaign. Because mm -hmm. if it's if you can play through a campaign... Without or, destroying stuff. Without destroying stuff. It means you can play it again if you want. It's campaign. Right. right. Yeah. Um, or you can play it standalone because okay. you would just go out right, and play because right. it is minis on a board. Okay. Okay? Right. Uh, one to six players, 25 minutes per player. Okay. Um, and some things to note, you... you go out you 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 actually you know what there's a what? whole thing you can you can uh, explore a maze of tiles so there's tiles you put out okay. and i think you put them out and they're you you place the direction that they are i guess okay. how you connect the tiles is for this the dungeon game's already out or is this like a new this game is, this is on Kickstarter. This is the whole. <laughs> well, I'm thinking to myself, like other games that have tiles and directions. It's definitely like... not a reprint of a game. Okay. This is a new. Is it kind of like like a Seventh Continent sort of thing where you're taking the tiles out and the position of the tiles and stuff? Uh, I think it's more dungeon crawlery. Okay. Right, like Seventh Continent's its own Less animal. This is more. Here's your room tile. Oh, okay. Here's right. a monster. Okay. Fight it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is just minis on a board okay. with 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 nine heroes. Minions, dice, lots of dice. Okay. <laughs> um, spell cards that you can combo together, and it's very like tongue-in-cheek humory. Wait, what? Like you had me. Like me hilarity me. ensues type stuff. Well, hilarity ensues. That's what it says. Really? Yeah. So. Uh, are you? Are, do you believe that? I don't know. I have I have a different sense of humor than some. So some things I find funny. Some things I find cheesy. Okay. I'm not going to say either way on this one. All so, I'm saying, it has comedic multiple choice events. So it has a lot of like goofy, like to say. But are you in a dungeon? Yes, but You're there's, in a, dungeon. there's a, a level of goofiness to it. Okay. Right, like. Like with, like if, like, do you know where I'm thinking right now? I don't know like, what you're um, thinking right now. <laughs> not even the slightest. <laughs> um. What's that show that we watch with the vampires? Oh, um, what what we do in the shadows? What we do in the shadows. This is like not the like game that. Of what we do in the shadows. Not like that. Okay. Uh, not even close to that. But that no. to me is like hilarity ensues. That like, is we're vampires. That is hilarious. absolute hilarity ensues. This is not that vain. This is like. This is like okay. This this hero is. The farm girl or the farm boy <laughs> who raises this type of animal, and now they fight with them. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what? That's so funny. Uh, yes, that's exactly <laughs> what. It, I'm telling. It's it's just it's very tongue in cheek humor, like goof, okay. goofy humor. Like, all right, I guess I just don't get that. Like, I don't understand the whole because I want to like that. You know? Yeah, but it's know. again, it's 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 Are not. The monsters funny. I, just I, I don't, you know, it, <laughs> it depends on what you define as funny. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like I said, it's very, it's done very tongue in cheek with intentional humor behind it. It isn't, okay. it isn't your dark and sinister. I was going to say, because if it's like 25 minutes per player, you and I play through like a skirmish or some kind of like level or something. Yeah. Maybe like an hour. Correct. So like, for example. This was not serious. Um, Super serious. Uh, so yeah, so like. The evil wizard is an overzealous and irredeemably evil wizard whose cataclysmic patterns will exceed his ability to control them. You know, they, like it's okay. everybody has like a, a like, like a kind of quirkiness to him. A goblin with a fancy hat whose actual talent as an artist inspires his allies to redouble their efforts to win. You know, like okay. it's it's just it, it's it's you know it has cuteness. It's got and it's it, again the tiles are like like land and location okay. you move from tile to tile you move right. and explore you reveal minions you fight them you gain power tokens you cast spells you level up okay. and then you fight a boss right like it's just your right 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 your atypical dungeon in a dungeon or on land you know either way it's a, right. it's, it's an exploring a tile spawning fight minions a finding them you know kind of like super dungeon explorer in my opinion with 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 modular tile maps and and it can Funny. Funny. Like, tongue, like, that's the thing. Each spellcaster manages a hand of hilarious single-use spells. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. It says that. I'm not making this up. I said hilarity ensues. So, you have a decision to make here. I don't know. Um, what do you, you don't know? I'm not selling you on it? 
<laughs> you're not really. You, you're not conveying um, a lot of faith in the humorous aspect. Well, I don't want to say it's good humor or not because I, I just know, all because I'm saying I don't want to sway you by <laughs> saying that. Hey, because if I said, hey, you know what, this is this looks so funny, you'd be like, oh well, I need to play that. Right. But if I just say this is what they're pitching. Right, right, right. No, that's right. Are you're you doing, buying into it or not? Doing the right thing. Yeah, I'm just trying um, to remain neutral here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I would probably play it purely because I want to assess how funny this game is. Really? Now, think about it. Your, your pass or play decision is right. based on whether or not you're going to cough up the money well, to buy I, this. Well, I don't get to ask how much it is, do I? Uh, we, we really can haven't I gone into that. Can I tell you how much I would, I would pay to back this? Okay. Can we do it that way? Uh, like reverse? We... We, we could. Like, I think it's funny, but I wouldn't back it for more than like 30 bucks. Uh, yeah, you're not going to get it for that. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but I will say the price point is is reasonable. It is. Yeah, but it's not as cheap as you is want it, it to be. Well, I can't give you... A, this is like We could talk about it after. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. I get... I don't know. You're making me feel like I have to pass, but I really want to know how funny those spells are. Well, like, is there an example? Humor aside. Is there an example of one of the funny spells? Um, <laughs> now you're really making me dig here. <laughs> like, um, I doubt I'm going to be able to, to find. Be like front page. Um, I no. I mean, I don't. I can't really read those cards. Know. are moving okay. too fast. Yes. Right. So you know. Uh, so yeah. I mean, they're, 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 you get eighty-five plus thirty. Hilarious. No. So like, one spell is called. Enormous fist. Okay? <laughs> and another one's called Mega Eruption. Right? What? So I don't know. I'm just saying, like that's that's what they are. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'll have to pass. Again, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's really good, it'll get funded mm -hmm. and then I can go buy it at the store. There you go. Right? Yeah. At my local store. And look, this decision is based on purely just, and the whole test here, right, right. Is, is that if I can just describe it to you, exactly you have to right. make the decision based that on that. True. You haven't yes, looked at any pictures, you yeah. have, and I've given and you way is, more than I should have. I'm having a lot of trouble, like, justifying it to myself yeah. based on description alone. Exactly. So, and I think if that ever is the case, it's probably a pass. It's probably a pass, right? I know. And you may regret it, but it yeah. is what it is, right? Okay. So that wraps up. All I just was six. kind of, I'm kind of bummed that I only had one play for a game. Hmm. Because I, I said play on both of the non-game things. Okay. So, but that's okay. I'm so okay. let's let's do our recap. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So let's go back to the first game. Okay. And this was a four X game. That's play for you. And it was a play. Yeah. All right. The game is called. Nexum Galaxy. Oh. There are seven days left in the campaign. Okay. Uh, currently sitting at $29,711 out of a $10,712 wow. goal. Okay. So they are funded. Okay. It is, in fact, a 4X sci fi board game. Okay. Uh, everything I described. Right. Um, nothing more to add yeah, to right. it. It's, it's basically, it is, okay. it is a yeah, game. Yeah, we'll play that. And it is funded, and you chose to play that one. So that's mm -hmm. game number one. Uh, okay. Let me see who, I don't know if it tells me who. Uh, published it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really hard to like read these pages sometimes, but I'm not going to waste anybody's yeah. time on that. You okay. can go look up the web page and, and figure <laughs> it out yourself. Uh, second game, ghost the, game, the ghost game is called Skeptics the Board Game. Skeptics um, the Board Game, and I, it's a game of paranormal investigation. And this is a um, uh, this is a relaunch, so I, I'm assuming they didn't they didn't fund the first time, oh. but two times a charm. Is because they are funded. They're okay. at thirty-two thousand nine seventy-two. Have eighteen thousand okay. dollars goal. So well, they are they are well funded. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, and well on their way to producing. It would probably be a great game if you are into ghost hunting. Yeah, I think if you're into ghost hunting, this is pretty cool. Like it it's looks, not. the board looks good. The art looks yeah, decent yeah. on it. Like I'm, right. and the dice look cool. Like I, I okay. it could be fun. I don't okay. know. Um, so that's the game number two. All right, tell me uh, about these. Number three, games. the cards. Yeah, They're called so cool. the Oracle Story Generator. Oh my goodness! Um, I. The, uh, uh, how, when we're done with this, upstairs I go, and out comes my wallet. Yeah. How the, much? I don't even care how much these things cost. Uh, so cost? yeah, this one is uh, wow. So this one is at one hundred sixty thousand of a ten thousand dollar goal. So they're wow. well well yeah. funded. Uh, seven days to go on this, 
And then I think the last game was seven days as well. So we're in the seven day mark yeah. right now. So this was um, definitely funded. The pledge for one deck is $20. What's the, um, I thought you said that there's like a lot of decks though, like five decks or something. I know, I'm just trying to move this up and it's not, it really doesn't want to move with me because I'm on the iPad. Okay, here, hold on. Um, for three decks, no, because you only need, yeah, what do you need? All five decks? Well, I don't know. Oh, the box set yeah, is 70 bucks. That's not bad. No. Uh, not the bad. art is beautiful on these, by the way. I bet it is. Like, they're really, really high quality. Definitely go go check it out. Yeah, I know. I love um, This okay. was the Oracle Story Generator tarot size cards. Yeah, not a game. Uh, but... Really pretty, but really <laughs> nice. It'd be something yeah. to own, i got to tell you. Yeah. Um, that was number three? Yep. All right, so number four is the game. The uh, car, the stocking stock game. Stock your warehouse. So it is called Overstocked. Overstock. And it is stock your warehouse with the coolest 90s toys in this one to six player interactive special okay. card game. So it's like banking on the whole theme of what's Doesn't the hot toy have right like now? No, they're not real ones. They, they'd have to license that. Are you crazy? They're like lettuce. <laughs> well, it has something that looks like a Tamagotchi. Right, okay. It's something that looks like, like a Furby. A baby, baby well, look, it's got a Furby, a Tamagotchi, oh, okay. a yo yo. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, okay. it's a cute game. It's definitely a kid's it's, game. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's probably a lot of fun with kids. Yeah, I think for so. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So, was that a pass on that one? It was a pass for me on that one. Yeah, yeah. but I think it would be, it, it looks like a lot of fun, actually. I may, it may be one that, like, I don't know, again, like, it, when it comes to retail, I would probably pick it up for kids. Uh, yeah. We're on number five now? Yeah. All right, so there's eight days to go on this. This is the graphic novel adventures. Choose yes. your choices, your adventure, your story. Um, these are from Van Ryder Games. Yes, we I do it. We do own two of these books, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, they are phenomenal. I do think I started one of them, mm -hmm. um, and then I got sidetracked by. Yeah, they're really, things. really cool. There's yeah. no, no question right. about that. I uh, think actually I stopped because of the whole like you have to write in the book. That's scary. And you have to yeah. Start naming things. Yeah. And I was just like, I just kind of like put it down and never picked it yeah, up. Yeah, photocopy and print those pages so, out, yeah, I will and do then that. definitely, definitely, if yeah. you're into that, let me tell you, this, That's these are cool. the yeah, quality of these. I do, I, the choose your own adventure piece of yeah. it is really cool. quality is off the charts yeah. on these. They're, they're they're phenomenal. So it's eighty five thousand nine hundred mm -hmm. uh, of thirty thousand goals. So yeah. they are funded. That's, yeah. That's the this this seasons look really good. Hell, I yeah. mean, all the seasons look really good. And I, I'm I'm a little disappointed that I don't own them. I might make a point to go try to get them all. So yeah, because um, they look really good. Especially I like to play the space one. That one looks yeah. Awesome. That one looks that sounds really really cool. really really cool. So eight days left. Go check this one out. Okay. Definitely recommend. This is I cool. I play the magician one. The magician one. Where you're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that looked really good. The, the dark mage or whatever it was. Yeah. So we may have to pick a couple. We get all of them. I'll just play yours. You'll just play. I'm going to get them all, and you can play them. Yes. You want to play the grand tournament where you're the uh, <laughs> Leonidas. The you could be the Spartan. Yeah, the dark the dark mage was the one you liked. All right. So last but not least. Yes. Uh, this one is called <laughs> Valor and Villainy: Minions of Mordak. Valor and Villainy? Villainy. Minions okay. of Mordak. Um, this is a, a new game from Skybound Games. It is at 311000 okay. of 15000 So they are definitely funded. So you chose to pass on this one. I did. I just... Look, it's... And I I got to tell you, it's a it's a dicey dungeon crawler. Yeah. And you just are not into this. I'm not. You're yeah. just not. So I didn't... I kind of... I wasn't sure if you'd buy into it because it seemed... Because you get hooked on the fact that it's got tongue-in-cheek humor. I it. I love humor. I know. The humor, it it, it could go either but way. It, it could be hit or miss, I'll tell like, you. It would have to be... Like, when I think of a humorous game... Yeah. It would have to be, like, the right group of people and the right kind of game bringing out the humor. Yes. I guess... Yeah, you, I don't know. it I looks mean, like a. Sound kind of funny, it's like, probably a regular. fun group game I would say, where yeah, a bunch of you are just dungeon romping. With you and, and me, yeah. it would be like probably not. Not as fun. The hilarity wouldn't be. It, <laughs> hel hilarity <laughs> probably would not ensue, ensue if it was just you and me. Uh, the game looks really pretty. The, yeah. the components look really high quality. Yeah, like yeah. it's definitely. I guess if you're into if um, you're into dungeon crawling. Yeah, if you're into dungeon crawling, yeah, this is a no brainer. Yeah. Uh, with with pretty cool looking minis, um, but like I said, it's very like funny. Um, funny art, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, it's like fun. Yeah, like, this is fun art, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, it looks, okay. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks yeah. good. I see. Graphically, I like, there's I a see. lot, uh, definitely a lot put into the, mm -hmm. to, to the making of this game. Yeah. So, they, there's definitely no, no corners being cut here. Um, so, if you're yeah. into that and you're looking for a good dungeon crawler, definitely check out Valor and Villainy. 
Um, looks pretty cool. Cool. But uh, yeah, I kind of pegged you for passing just because yeah, cause it's not my thing. it's not one of our things. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, it's just it's just not. Yeah. We don't we don't. Even though I, I do want to get back into them and kind of yeah. bring you along, but as, as you as we start to play them again, I'm like ah, just the whole luck of dice and. It's I'm just not. Yeah, like, you like get so sour right when you start playing dice games because of the bad rolls. Well, because I play not to digress, but mm. it's like we all play games for different reasons, right? Yeah. And some people play games because they really enjoy the I can't control this component yep. and like let's just have fun and see what happens and and just go for it I play games because I really like the challenge of the strategy and I like building mm. stuff and being like proud of something I built in two hours and like yeah. manufactured a bunch of stuff so um so for me to not have control over that I just feel a little bit like it's not super fun it's not as fun for you for me, that makes sense but, that's okay. but there you go folks that that's wraps it. up uh, our, our next episode of Pass or Play. I know, you uh, start pa playing on more games. Yeah, so I hope, like, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you were able to play along and not jump to the end and get the spoilers before making your decision. But <laughs> yeah. let us know in the comments how many you actually got that, that you agreed with. Yes. And how many you disagreed with and how many you actually guessed before, uh, before the end. Because uh, I've seen a lot of comments where people have been able to guess them all before I the know. end. And that's when you know yeah, you yeah. have a real Kickstarter problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you can exactly. figure out exactly what campaigns are right, out there. Right, right. Uh, especially with, today, with today's six. I think they were a little bit more challenging. Yeah, they were. They were um, good. You picked so. good ones. Yep. So we will uh, we'll see you next week when we bring you another group of games on either Kickstarter or GameFound. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. See ya.